Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. I hope you're all well. For today's video, I'm going to be upcycling a glass perfume bottle or bottle that I picked up from a charity shop last year and I'm going to be doing it in all black and gold to match my bathroom but you could do this in any colour to match your decor and if you've been following me on Instagram, you would have known that this was going to be today's video. I've been posting every single day sneak peeks of what I've been working on and I'm going to continue to do that. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you to everybody that subscribed and watched my videos. I'm hoping to hit 7,000 subscribers by the end of this year. So if you've not subscribed or you're new to my channel, it'd be wonderful if you could join our family and friends and help me get to that target. I can't do it without you guys. So sit back and I hope you enjoy today's craft video and it gives you some ideas and some inspiration. So when I saw this glass bottle in the charity shop, I paid $2.99 for it and I liked the ridges that was on the outside of the bottle and I knew that I wanted to do some beading for this. So I'm using some beads that I've just taken apart, some old necklaces that I had, except from the gold beads. The gold beads I actually got from AliExpress. I think I paid less than £2 for two packs, including post and packaging. So for the beading, I'm using some standard cotton and this is in the colour black and I'm using a very thin needle which I've already put on the end of the cotton and now I'm just going to start to add my beads. So I'm using a large bead at the end and I'm just pulling it down towards the bottom of the cotton and then leaving quite a long tail so I can hold on to it. Then while holding on to the end of the cotton, all I'm going to do is pass the needle through about three times. And then once I've done that, I'm then going to pass it through another three or four times. But this time I'm going to knot it each time that I put the needle through. This is just to keep the beads secure and then I can start to add my other beads. So when adding my beads, I knew that I had to do quite a few lengths of these. So I'm just going to do a simple pattern that I can repeat over and over again until I get the length that I want. Now that it's the length that I need, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the beads and hold them so that there's no gaps in between them. And then I'm just going to pass the needle through the last bead three or four times like I did with the first bead that I put onto the cotton. So this is the first length of beads and it will just sit into the grooves of the glass like so and I am going to be gluing them into place but what I've done first is I've counted around how many grooves there are and there was 22 so I've done 22 lengths of beads and now we can start to glue them to the glass. So I'm using two glues for gluing the beads in place and I'm using 151 which is an all-purpose glue from Asda and it costs a pound and then I'm also using hot glue from my glue gun and the reason I'm using two glues is because if you've ever used hot glue on glass you know it doesn't stick very well so I'm going to use the 151 first I'm going to pop some of that on the glass and then I'm going to pop a bit of hot glue over the top of it and then the hot glue will keep the beads in place while the 151 all purpose glue dries and then I'm just going to use a little bit of hot glue at the top of the neck because I'm going to be putting some ribbon around it so the ribbon will help keep the beads secure as well. I'm going to do this for each of the lengths and just work my way around and once they're glued in place I'm just going to cut off the bits of thread that's left over from when I did the beading.
and here is what the bottle looks like with the beads attached to the base so i'm going to pop this to one side and do a little bit of painting so it can be drying and what i'm using is some molds that i made using cake molds and some flexible filler and these bend and they're really easy to make and if you want to know how to make them in my last craft video which was my thrift flip which were the miniature picture frames i did a more in-depth on what i did so i'm not going to recap it because i only did it a couple of days ago but these are what i had left over and i'm just going to spread them out getting ready for painting the paint that i'm using is just black acrylic paint for a base and this is from b&m's two pound for a large tub and i'm going to just paint the top of the molds for now let that dry then i'll do around the sides let that dry and then i'll do underneath as well the reason i'm doing underneath is because it's going to be on glass and you'll be able to see the backs once they're on the bottle so normally i just do the tops and the sides but for this i'm going to have to do underneath as well and then i'm going to let them dry and we can carry on working on the bottle So while the molds are drying, I'm going to add some details to the bottle. I'm using this gold tile tape that's left over from my last project, which was me using the stickers and the tile tape to do my bathroom tiles. And I paid less than £2 for this. It's self-adhesive and you get quite a lot. And I think it's actually quite good for crafting. So I'm going to have a look and see what other colours they have as well because I'm sure this will come in handy for future craft videos. Just going to add some around the base of the bottle and around the neck of the bottle as well. So for around the top of the neck I want to add some of this black lace and it's quite thick I need it to be about half the size and I don't want to cut it so I'm just going to glue it in half with a little bit of hot glue and then I can glue this around the neck of the bottle. I want to make sure that the join is at the side where I'm going to be adding quite a lot of decoration so this will be hidden eventually so I'm just going to pop it around glue it in place and then cut off the excess. So now that the lace is in place, it's looking a little bit odd with just the one gold strip at the top. So I'm going to add another strip of gold around the bottom of the lace just to tie it all together and make it look more symmetrical. So now that the last gold piece is in place, this is what the bottle looks like up to now. And I'm loving how it's looking, but I've decided I need to add some beads to the top of the bottle. It was looking a little bit odd just having the plain glass at the top once it was in place in the bottle. So I'm going to do the same bead order as I have done for around the base. I need to do 14 lengths in total. So I was in the middle of doing the beading for the top of the bottle and I noticed that the weather was changing and I need to do some spray painting. So I'm going to go outside before it starts raining and I'm going to spray paint these in a metallic gold spray paint. I get this for $1.99 at my local DIY shop and it dries instantly. So I'm going to spray underneath gold, flip them over, spray the top and then I'll be back. 
that literally took about two minutes and I just love how the gold looks on these molds. I'm going to be using these a lot, I think, in future projects at some point. I'm going to get some more. I'm definitely going to put an order in at AliExpress because they're really worth it and you can make as many as you want. And the fill is only a pound that I use as well. So I then finished the beading and then I'm going to add some gold tape to the top and the bottom of the stopper. This is going on first so that I can attach the beads to the tape and it'll just be a lot easier to glue them in place and I won't have to use as much glue. I then want to add some black tape and this is the only black tape that I've got. I got a bag full of this stuff in different colours from a charity shop last year for a couple of pounds. So I'm just going to cut off a strip of black at the bottom and then glue this in place around the neck. Now all the tape is in place, I can start to glue my beads onto the top. I'm just going to do this quickly off camera and then we can get on to the next step. So this is what the top of the bottle looks like with all the tape on and the beads attached and now I can see what the whole thing looks like before I start to add my moulds and I am over the moon with how this is looking and I'm going to keep an eye out for more glass bottles in the future. So before I add the moulds, I want to make them look less gold than they do and I'm going to use black acrylic paint. This is the same paint as I did for the base before I spray painted them gold. I'm going to do some dry brushing. So I've just got some kitchen roll. I'm going to dab my brush into the paint, take off all the excess and then I'm going to lightly brush over all the moulds. I'm not too sure how many I'm going to use so I'm just going to do them all and then I don't have to do this step again if I need extra. So I've changed the camera angle so that you can see what I'm doing because I need to have the bottle stood up straight for everything that I'm going to do now and I'm going to start to add the moulds and the reason that I added the beads, one was because they look really nice but the second reason was that I had something to glue the moulds to with hot glue. So I'm just going to add the moulds as and where I want them and I'm going to start round the neck and then work my way down.
So I've added all the molds that I want to add and to finish it off, I'm going to add this cross into the center. This is off a old necklace that was broken and I never throw old necklaces away because you never know when they're going to come in handy like this one. So it just finishes off the front perfectly. And then I'm adding some feathers to the side to hide where the join of the ribbon was. And I'm going to put all the decorations on this side now. So I'm going to just glue them in place in a fan shape. I got these from AliExpress. I paid less than £2 including postage for them. And I love them. They do come in handy for all different crafts. So I'm just going to glue them all in place like so and then I'm using these gold leaves that I got in a box of stuff that I picked up from a charity shop last year and I'm just going to cut them to the length that I want them and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bead the bottom section exactly the same as I've done the beads on the side and the top and then once they're beaded I can glue these into place as well I'm going to add about seven or eight of them just to fill out the sides <laughs> So this is what it looks like with all the feathers and the leaves and beading that I want to add to it and I've got two steps left that I want to do to this bottle. The first thing I want to do is I want to add some more black acrylic paint dry brushing like I did before. I just needed to tie it in a little bit more with the beads. It was looking a little bit odd against the black beads so I'm just going to do this quickly and let it dry. And then the last thing that I want to do, I got some butterflies from AliExpress. I think I got a pack of 12 or 16 for less than £1.50, including post and packaging. It's of a very bright gold and I just want to make it a little bit more duller. So I'm just going to, again, use a bit of black acrylic paint and do a little bit of dry brushing just to get rid of the bright gold and tie it all in. And then I'm going to glue this to the neck of the bottle and then it's finished and we can have a proper look at what it looks like. And here it is, and I'm absolutely in love with this. I wanted it to be over the top and ornate to match my bathroom. Obviously, if you were making it yourself, you didn't have to put as much stuff on it as I've done, but I knew that this would fit into the way that my bathroom is decorated. And I enjoyed the process of making this so much that I'm actually going to do a little bit of a mini series with these. I've got a couple of ideas of ones that I could do, but until the charity shops open again and everything calms down a bit, I can't get any glass bottles but once I do I will do some more I like the idea of maybe doing a peacock one with blues and greens and golds and I think maybe a winter one using browns and reds and maybe having some little fake robins would look really nice as well but I hope you've enjoyed the video guys I hope it's given you some ideas a little bit of inspiration of what you can do using cake molds and beads and glass bottles and I will be back on Wednesday with my next craft video it's going to be a bit of a quick craft on Wednesday Wednesday because I'm still working on my wrought iron wall hanging and I'm hoping that's going to be finished for next week so until then I will see you on Wednesday take care look after yourself and bye for now love you loads